Mineric is a unique company leading the introduction of laser communication technology to enable the next generation communication networks in air and space. And the company just had an IPO here at the NASDAQ. So with me is Bulan Alton, the CEO. Congratulations, first of all. Oh, on thanks. This. I know it's a long road to get to this point, so congrats. It sure is. And there's a lot also in front of us to do, and there's a lot we're going to bring to the market. But we are, re we are very happy to be here at this monumental moment. So thank you for having me here. Yeah. Now I understand you're going to be kind of connecting the whole world, right? Correct. Uh, what Mineric does is we build uh, the equipment that builds the backbone of all these different constellations that we hear about uh, that are going to connect every single corner of the world. They are going to make sure that there is no digital divide, that uh, they are, we are going to make sure that such constellations can exist mm -hmm. using our technology as well as uh, making sure that all wireless communication in the future is yeah. secure and uh, spectrum free. And by the way, I, I love this because I've been connected in some really weird places in the world and, you know, floors of airports and things yeah. like that. So it's great to hear this. And 40% of the world is still not connected to the Internet. Is that correct? Unfortunately, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, that digital divide is a big, uh, big driver for this mega cities trend that we're seeing. People are leaving where, uh, where they live and going into cities just to get the infrastructure they need and connectivity is a very big part of that. Connectivity is that cornerstone of the world market and we want to make sure that that connectivity doesn't have no boundaries, it's everywhere. Right. Well, and it has to be more important than ever with the work from home situation that everybody in the world went through. I mean, it's more important than ever that we're connected. Absolutely. Yeah. I think uh, if anything we've, we've learned over the last two years is things change really fast. Our connectivity has to keep up with it and building up networks like that requires that uh, extra, extra uh, speed of connectivity yeah. and the extra reach in every corner of the world or when you're in a plane or a boat or maybe sometime in the future in space. Oh, you want to have that connectivity. Or the desert or something <laughs> like that. I'm just imagining like Absolutely. what it could be. Now, um, also, so explain the technology to me. So you make the lasers that connect the satellites. Am I understanding all this correct? That's correct. Okay. So um, uh, one of our products, the Condor Terminal, uh, you put it on your satellite and it allows you to, uh, to connect satellites up to 8,000 kilometers in distance. And we can do that up to 100 gigabits a second. And uh, if you have to imagine it, we have these two satellites flying at 28,000 kilometers an hour probably in two different directions and we take a laser beam and hit the other one from 8,000 kilometers away and Sorry. use that to send a tremendous amount of data and how is the reception is it as fast as Wi-Fi you'd have in a place that had Wi-Fi like in New York or something like that so satellites that uh, use our technology can get that uh, can get that connectivity to any location you need and the resulting connectivity has that low latency, high bandwidth, just like we are used to in our households today when we have that fiber connectivity or cable okay. connectivity, but you get that in the middle of the desert if you want to. Yeah, what about planes? Planes is definitely yeah. a big target for constellations. I think uh, they will they will definitely benefit from this a lot. So you no more uh, no more uh, loading and then waiting and refreshing and <laughs> yes, you know I've had some difficulty there too. Finally, what do you plan to do with the proceeds from the IPO? Um, we are a German company. Now we have also U.S. Uh, US footprint that's ever growing. Uh, with the proceeds, we're going to make sure that both, uh, both standpoints um, are uh, increasing their production output. Okay. We already have a production output of about 400 terminals a year. We want to bring that up to the 2000 number and beyond as we also uh, gain customers and a lot of the proceeds goes there. Beyond that, of course, our, uh, our proceeds are also going towards R&D activities for the future of Lasercom. We always want to push the limits here. We want to be, uh, we want to be years ahead of what can be done with, with Lasercom. We constantly research that. And some of the, that, of course, goes into okay. sales. And Fascinating technology. Thank you so much for coming. And congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us here. Thanks. Yeah.